is up people mean metal Mike here for an album review man an album soundtrack review the mighty ACDC did a soundtrack for a movie called maximum overdrive we are not gonna talk about the who made who album because that's just three original tracks and and um some uh you know, hits. That's kind of just the greatest hits album. We are talking about the Maximum Overdrive official movie soundtrack. So we kick it off with the Who Made Who introduction. Just this Who Made Who with some reverb and stuff that Angus and Malcolm added into it. And it, it, it's a good opener for the movie, Who Made Who. Then we get into a track, the second track, which is three minutes and two seconds. And the track is called Chop, 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 Cliff Williams Solo. It's a little groovy, man. I mean, it's a little bass solo by Cliff Williams, and you don't really hear Cliff that much in ACDC, you know, experimenting. So it's good stuff. Then we have the next track, which is a little jam called Sacred. No, actually... the. The track's called Scared, I am sorry. Then we go into Chase the Ace 1, take number 1. And mmm, it kicks right off. Good stuff. We have another Cliff Williams solo. Then we go into Chase the Ace number 2, and it kicks ass. We go into the first jam, which is just Angus and Malcolm Cliff. And Simon Wright just jamming, just doing an instrumental jam. And it's pretty bluesy, it's pretty catchy. I'm surprising some of these jams and some of the stuff on the Maximum Overdrive album did not end up being on the Who Made Who release. Or didn't end up being original, you know, material songs. Then we get our first Angus solo at 8 minutes. And it's just ripping fast, heavy. Then we go into another jam section with Cliff and Malcolm and Angus. And Simon Wright doing some little, you know, stuff around the toms and stuff. And it's, it's catchy. You don't hear that in ACDC. And it's different. And it's good stuff. Then we go into, then we go into Chase Ace number three. Which is probably the best version of Chase the Ace on the soundtrack. It's ripping, it's crunchy, the drums sound pretty tight. Um, Angus is just ripping it on the guitar. And you gotta listen to this stuff. Go listen to the Maximum Overdrive movie soundtrack, not Who Made Who. We go into the third jam song, another jam. And this is just Malcolm Young kind of soloing a bit and getting real bluesy. It's a lot of soul in this third jam song. And it's catchy. It's heavy. It's deep. Good stuff. Then we go into DT number two. The second version of DT. I like this version a little bit more. And it's just heavy. It's fast. And it's just good rock and roll, man. Then we go into jam number four, which is the final jam for this. And it's just catchy. Then we'll then, okay, well then in the movie soundtrack, as the movie progresses, now we get some of the hit singles thrown into the movie. We have an added reverb, which starts, and then it kicks into Ride On. I don't gotta say much for Ride On. It's a Bond song, it's catchy, it's heavy, it's bluesy. Then we go into For Those About to Rock, We Salute You. Then we go into Hell's Bells. We go into Shake Your Foundations. Then we get another Angus Young solo. Then we get another song called Contra Attack on um, Maximum Overdrive soundtrack. And it's heavy. It's catchy. It should have been a single for Who Made Who, in my opinion. Then another track called Bad Boy, where Cliff Williams is just really doing some good bluesy licks on the bass. Then we end the movie 
The title set, we end the movie. Credits rolled down. And you end it with Who Made Who as the outro. And shook me all night long. That is the review of the Maximum Overdrive. Ah, maximum Overdrive. Ah, album. Keep things metal. Be on the lookout for my next video. Today. Keep things metal. And subscribe.